I've cussed on a Sunday. I've cheated and I've lied and I've fallen down from grace a few too many times. But I find holy redemption when I put this car in drive. Roll the windows down and turn up the dial. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get an amen? Feels like the Holy Ghost running through ya. When I play that highway FM, I find my soul revival, singing every single verse. Yeah, I guess that's my church. Mmm. Bam. Love that song. Actually, one of my all-time favorites. Okay. I feel like you guys are so crooked. What did I do to this thing? Um, hey, I'm Amy. Welcome to Bella's Bargains. If you've randomly landed here, be like, what the heck? Anyway, you guys, today's an extra special bonus, bonus video. This is the first time I think I've ever done a DIY bonus video. So, um, if it's your first time, why don't you just click down below and you're going to find out everything that I do in this channel, but it's all Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree and all of the crafts that I'm going to show today, all of my supplies, and I mean all of my supplies, came from the Dollar Tree. You too can do that. All right, except for my glue gun. Do I say this every now and again? No, my glue gun didn't come from the Dollar Tree. Okay, yeah. But the tools I use do. Um, like today, in one of the videos today, I pulled out my little hacksaw tool that I got at the Dollar Tree. All right, so we've got to dive right in though. This is gonna be a long video because there's a lot of crafts. So all I'm gonna do right now is just quickly show them to you. I'm not gonna explain how I did them because you're gonna see that on the video, but I do like to show my, my crafts and blah, blah, blah before we get into the video. By the way, if you're watching this video, I gotta tell you right now, if you're not a subscriber, you need to subscribe and you need to watch my my shopping Saturday haul tomorrow, Dollar Tree haul tomorrow, because I'm giving away a $50, $50 Dollar Tree gift card. All right, let's go. I got to show you guys all of these. So I love these. Love this. Can you even see it? It says to vegetables to fun. So these are the truck signs. It says, you know, anyway, they're super cute. I just enhanced it a little bit and I put it on. So it's a much bigger steak. You'll see. I love it. I think it's super adorable. I'm going to whip through these. I also really love this. I think it's absolutely so cute. You'll see this on the video. This was from another sign. Just these colors with these bunnies. And I thought the way they pop out, they're the, they're the clothespin bunnies. And I just thought the way they popped out of the wreath was just super cute. The wreath that I made this wreath and then add. Okay, there. There's another one. That's two. How about the truck, which was initially on a stake. All I did, this is an upscale. I took it off this, the, the steak. No, it was, yeah. I don't even remember anymore. It's in the video. And I just fixed it. Like I added some of the sticker carrots because I thought that really made it vibrant. I made a little bunny here driving. There's a little bunny. Um, so you'll see, it's just an upscale. I really like it though. I think it just, I, I like it so much better than what it was. Right now I'm showing you guys really the upscale things that I did. So this is one of their Easter signs. I think this is so adorable. Now, since I've upscaled it, you'll see these are super easy. Anybody can do these. This is just, I mean, it's super easy. You'll see in the video, you're gonna see how I upscale them. So I'm not gonna go into too much right now because we have so many. Also an upscale, I just love this. It's three-dimensionalizing it with some stuff. It just makes it so cute and I love that. But I mean, it's just really, one of the things I do want to point out is that I did, on this one I didn't, on the blue ones I felt like the words were really hard and so I outlined them with the um, glass markers and I felt like that really helped. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I showed this one in my Foodie Friday. How cute is he? So cute, traditional white little tail. He looks adorable. Uh, let's see, this is another one of those Easter greeting signs but look at this twist. So I bought one of the purses that they were selling and used one of the handles for the hanger. I love this as well. And then I also got to pull the bunny off because these come with, wait, here it is. These come with that, um, the bunny, and I got to pull him off and use him for something else. It didn't, which means I'll use him next year. But I just think that's really cute. Okay, where to next? Oh, little chickadee, the wood chick. Mm, 
Just made it a little burlap chick with a ribbon on it. So just very, you know, farmhouse. Isn't that the word? Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to go to next. This was done with gift bags. And the bottom of the truck stakes, it had the truck and then it said Happy Easter, but it said Happy Easter on the truck. Like this one. See how it says Happy Easter on the door? So I just removed the signs on those stakes because I just didn't. This wasn't on a stake. This was a hanging one, but I made it a standing one. Anyway, um, so I just removed those signs because I thought it was sort of redundant. And I made, the, anyway, I like this. I think it's really cute. You'll see in the video how I made it. I don't need to tell you right now. You're going to see in the video. Where to next? Where to next? Where to next? Um, how about these guys? I took three of the gnomes. You'll see exactly what I did in the video, but I really did enhance these a lot with some using the glass markers. Um, and some of the metallic markers, but it's so, it, they look so much better. And on the sides, see that? I colored in the sides of these, like see with the white chalk marker, I did, you know, anyway, it's really cute. But what I did was I put it on one of these signs. Now, this is a very substantial piece. I did have to redo the bunny because it said Happy Easter. And this says Happy Easter over here, so I didn't want it twice. You'll see. Okay, so I love that, love that, love that. Love my gnomes, and they stand. It's a good, substantial piece. Where to next? Let me show you the farmhouse stuff, basic farmhouse stuff that I did. This was one of those ones that had an initial inside, but I didn't, couldn't use that initial. This was off the hanging, wall hanging ones. They had these, these, I just tore them all apart. And then I removed some of the covers on these to make the, those eggs. Okay, anyway, super cute. I wrapped the handle in yeah nice little farmhouse piece this is a nice farmhouse piece so this is the calendar i don't remember what it's called that calendar but anyway a great little number and all i did was give it did some rope on the black frame a little tie up there that's just to cover the hole that's in the page from the calendar and i love this piece i think it's very beautiful and my last little farmhouse piece is this guy oh there's that bunny i did use him um, so this is the bunny that came off that one sign and this was these I didn't like these I Redid two of these. I just didn't like them, but I think this came out really cute. I love this a lot and it's just Simple the ribbon their burlap ribbons they used all over it and then gave it a really cool tie up there So and it's a hanging piece. All right. I'm gonna show you. Oh, no, I got one miniature thing This is so cute. Look Happy Easter from Arizona. And so that's a gold egg, but it looks like a little cactus, right? Isn't that cute? So, and they have this cactus ribbon there. Anyway, I think it's adorable. It's a great tear tray piece. What? Tear tray? Yeah, tear tray, because everybody's doing tear trays. All right, I'm gonna show you my favorite, my favorite Easter thing I made this year, and it was so stinking easy. And that's this little number. Oh my God, are you like in love? Okay, these are the wood, the wood bunnies, right? So I just put three of them together. This is a wrapping paper. I have, it's one of the bunny tails. It's for, this is a wrapping paper. Um, and I did this one in a tissue paper, a yellow tissue paper. Look at their, look at their tails. These are not normal bunny tails and I love it. These were keychains that had little mermaid tails, which I've saved, of course. This was a pen. One of their pens with a pom-pom on top of it. You guys, come on. Are these not the cutest thing in the whole wide world? I love them. I think they're so adorable. But this is what you're all just, this is, I should really should just turn off my lights so that you guys can see this. I'm not going to though. But come on, turn, turn, turn. Ready, ready? I told you I was going to do this when I found the napkins. Isn't that beautiful? You guys, it worked. So I bought that. You'll see in the video. I keep saying that. Ah, uh, and this is one of those light boxes. I just took the front off of it and then I added a second um, light just to come on. You got to admit, that's really cool. And this is the cross, but I took it off the galvanized tin. It's one of those standing crosses. I love this. And it stands and it lights up. I think this is beautiful. I think that this is a decoration. I might use all year long. Um, I can make it Christmas. I can add a Christmas bow on it. 
I can, I can change it for basically every season. And it's so beautiful. Tell me that you love this. Okay, guys, you got to watch now. Now you got to watch how I did all these. Um, but just, yeah, so happy. That came out exactly the way I wanted. Oh my gosh, I still have one more to show you though. I just did this one today. This one I really like too though. It is one of my favorites. Okay, I bought a glass vase thing and I was like, to me this looks like a basket. So what did I do? I made it a basket. So this was the glass vase. This is one of those wreaths and I cut the wreath in half and I got it. This was hard to do, I'm not gonna lie. And then I made a handle. Um, come on, this is so cute. Do you not? Do you not? I do. Yeah, this one I just did today. Okay, and it was the very last craft I did. That's it, all done. Because I just, I was so dying. This is so pretty. This is going to be so pretty on a table. And it can go either side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. If I'd had enough ribbon, by the way, I this was the last I had of this ribbon. If I had had enough, I probably would have double-sided it just so it would be good from either side, but just watch. So pretty, isn't that pretty? And look, I'll put these two together on a shelf. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. Don't forget to watch Sharon, $50 gift card giveaway. Please watch this whole thing. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. because I don't even know how long it's going to be yet. I haven't put them all together yet. So, okay. That's it, you guys. I cussed on a Sunday. Mm. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, at the end of the video, no, I'm not going to tell you. I'll pop something in that'll tell you what emoji to leave me at the end of the video. But if you're here right now and you love this, give me a heart. Give me a cross emoji just right now before you even watch all the videos, okay? I love, I'm just very proud of this piece. I think it's so pretty. And that's a napkin. And doesn't it look like stained glass? Mm -hmm. That's what I saw it is. All right, guys. Ready? Enjoy the videos. And I will see you tomorrow for Shopping Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching my extra special Easter decoration extravaganza. <laughs> I don't even know how many there are. Wait, I'll count them. So I'm going to take these three gnome signs right here. And what I want to do is make them a very substantial piece. So there's two options. I can put them onto a board like this where they would stand. Um, just by doing this and attaching them. And then they would stand. Or I can just glue them together have them be a door hanging so there's two options but I'm actually gonna put them on the stand and this is one of those boards uh, that you buy at the Dollar Tree I think I'll just be happy today and I'm just gonna flip it over and use this side but one of the things I don't like is that it says um, this one says Easter this one says welcome this one says um, happy Easter this one says happy Easter up here so I'm wondering if I can take the bunny off of this and it's kind of messed up anyway like the glitter didn't get here so I'm wondering if I can remove the bunny and take this the chocolate off or the yeah this off of it and sort of redo this okay so I'm gonna leave happy Easter I'm gonna leave welcome and I'm just gonna change out this one hopefully and then I'll enhance them some I've got to fill in the holes and yeah, there's some other fun stuff to do to them.
have these two um, signs, Carrot Patch and Cotton Farms. I think they're very, very cute. Uh, but I want to put them, because they have arrows, I think they should go on a stake. Um, so I can put them in planter or something like that. Anyway, I have this stick, which I removed the Happy Easter and I made a sign for my tear tray. I'm actually going to remove this guy now and just use the stake. Then I'm going to use two of these wood signs and um, the tempera paint from Crafter Square because I'm going to paint these, but it's going to soak in. So it's going to, I think it's going to look end up looking more like a painted stain. And then two jute, I'm um, sorry, Baker's Twine or Cotton Twine. This one's Baker's Twine. This one's Cotton Twine. <laughs> anyway, um, and I'm going to write on this one, vegetables. And this one's going to say fun. So because this is to the carrot patch and this is to the bunny trail. All right, let's go.
this super cute little project, we're gonna need one of the mini terracotta pots, the smallest that they carry at the Dollar Tree. One of the gold eggs, I think these came in a pack of six in, it was like a little faux egg carton. Um, one of their chalkboard tag signs. Just a little tiny bit of greenery. I'm just gonna cut like this off right here. Some rocks. And my glass paint marker in black. And that's it. We're gonna make a little cactus that says Happy Easter from Arizona. Let's go. <music> upscale. i um, going to add some ribbon on it with some Baker's Twine. going to use a green glass paintbrush and the metallic marker in the it's a, sort of a rose color. And some um, little eggs, which I'm probably going to cut in half. And I'm probably going to go grab some greenery to add in too. So let's get started.
upscale. So I think these signs are, are okay. I think the bow is a little obnoxious on the bunny. It sort of hides the bunny. It's a little boring. So we're gonna do a couple things. Um, I'm gonna take a mahogany furniture marker, some yellow and white baker's twine, some butterfly stickers, and some flower stickers. And then I really feel like I want to um, pop these words a little bit more. And so I might do that using, uh, let me pull it out, I'm sorry. Um, I'm probably going to do that possibly using a glass marker. Um, but if that doesn't work, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, maybe one of the... Um, the metallic markers I'm not sure so I'll have to play with that a little bit but anyway it's gonna be super easy the bunny I bought this purse and I'm gonna put the purse here and I'm gonna put some florals in there and I'll probably outline the words maybe so we can see them a little bit better and just give it a quick little upscale and I gain an extra galvanized bunny Buddy form, <clears throat> and this is some um, contact paper, a bunny tail, some white ribbon, and some cotton twine. And we're just gonna make a simple, cute decoration. these wreath rings right here um, so I'm going to develop the felt bunny clips two pieces off the wall hanging and some decorative mesh so I'm just going to decorate a little wreath here and yeah let's go
This is <clears throat> one of the large hanging eggs. Um, one of the ones that come out for the paint, you know, paint your own egg. And one of the egg ornaments. And so I just want to do a little um, thing of multiple eggs. And I picked up these two gift bags and specifically picked them up to use to Mod Podge onto an egg. And then I'm probably going to use um, paint in here, although this came out of the paint your own ornament, um, the little bunny. So I might use this yellow in here just to use, just to use it. So, but I do have paint that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and that thing. All right. And I need my Mod Podge. So let's go. <laughs> one of their hanging signs and it used to have a happy Easter down here which I removed it Let's see where it came out of there um, because I just didn't like the double happy Easter I used it in another project but <clears throat> this one I think is super cute I'm just gonna enhance it a little bit and I'm gonna do that by making one of these bunnies in the pom-pom kit right here and using some of these felt stickers and I'm gonna remove him, but then put him back on. So when we come back, I will have the bunny all put together. I'm not gonna do that on, it's super easy. Well, here, I'll open it up and show you guys. Everything's in here to put a little bunny together. There's the little ears, the little inside of the ears, and the body and the tail, and it's all right there. Little hands. So I'm gonna put him together quick, or her. <laughs> actually going to use the back side of this sign and um, I'm not going to do anything to this because there's always the option of flip-flopping them <laughs> and I <clears throat> picked up two of these um, because I wanted the galvanized bunny on this so I'm going to take the galvanized bunny off of this sign and then I'm going to use an array of ribbons and stuff to 
decorate this egg and um, put it all together. So first, I'm going to take the bunny off of this before we get started. from Dollar Tree and um, I'm gonna open it up and use the back side and this wood chick and this really cool ribbon that I just got the other day at Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna quickly make a sort of a country chick. <laughs> One of the wood baskets that has the letters in it only I don't that's not a letter that I can make for anybody or that's mine so I'm gonna use one of the eggs from the wall hanging that had the happy Easter and all that and I've been using different parts of it and that and I'm gonna use some jute twine and some wired jute cord and I think some burlap ribbon I'm not exactly sure which burlap ribbon I'm gonna use quite yet and um, some um, some eggs. <laughs> I can't talk apparently. Uh, anyway, some eggs. So let's get going. I'm gonna wrap the the handle in cord. I'm gonna cover this. Put the egg on. So let's just get going. <laughs>
I'm using the, um, I think it's April. Oh, I don't know which one it is now. January, February, March, April, yeah. The April calendar page from the Simply Blessed 2021 calendar. And I have the frame, which these are the best frames for framing the calendar pages. So if you find this size, that's what you want to get. And this size is, I think they're like 10 and no, oh, they're 12 by 12. Okay. They're 12 by 12 frames. <clears throat> so, um, but I think they're like the only frame with the multiple layout here for pictures. So anyway, so I'm going to frame this and I'm going to use some of the wired jute to embellish the frame just a little bit rather than painting it or anything like that. I want to make this fairly simple and um, probably put a little bow off of the frame just to cover that hole. So let's go and see. How This craft is, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We're gonna find out. So I bought this um, glass at the Dollar Tree, obviously, because that's where I buy everything, but I thought it looked like a basket. So that's what I'm gonna try and do with it. And what I'm hoping is that I can take, I'm not sure this is gonna work. <laughs> I wanna make a handle with this bamboo wreath here. I'm not sure that's gonna work. Some Spanish moss for the inside, and then these, which I'm missing an egg. I believe my cat's got that egg, doesn't matter. I have these. It, they, they, they call this onion grass, um, but it's got the Easter eggs on it. And so, yeah, maybe I'll find the Easter eggs. There's two missing, and the cat's got them. I don't know. So we're, we'll see. I'm not sure this is going to work, but I'm going to try. So... one of the bunnies with yellow tissue paper and the other two bunnies with this beautiful wrapping paper and then I'm gonna use some fun things to make their tails out of so all right let's go <music>
I've been dying to try this. I have one of these cathedral windows. They open up in the back. I just have to unscrew it and it opens up. And what I'm hoping to do is to take the clear part of this um, drawstring bag so it's, it's clear on this side. And anyway, and um, cut it out to fit inside of here. Then Mod Podge on this napkin with, I'm going to use the gloss. Remove this and I'm going to take the only the wood part of this cross to put on to here. So it looks like a beautiful cathedral window. So I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. Let's just go for it. with a initial on it and this is I'm making this for my daughter so I'm gonna use the contact paper for the basket I'm gonna use some foam eggs and I'm gonna use a furniture marker to decorate the eggs looks like a sharpie and then I'm gonna use the furniture marker for the handle and some ribbon, different ribbons for the bow up here. So first, I'm just gonna take the eggs and just start doing, you know, like a design on them, just with a Sharpie. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? Anyway, just sort of. <laughs> I might have to slow down a little bit. Um. And I'm not doing anything in particular, just sort of decorating them. Uh, so I'm gonna decorate just enough of these eggs so that I can basically fill the basket here. And I have a couple of large ones that I might do and slice in half and then add the small ones. All right, so first I'm gonna just decorate the eggs up. Mm -hmm. 